Yujung Yoon plays Sunja, the grandmother of a in the new film Minati. You have won a lot of awards in your career, but you are really earning so many nominations and wins for Minati, including from the Screen Actors Guild Awards. What is special to you about getting this kind of recognition for Minati? I didn't even expect having an award from America. What's happening to me? I don't know. But when we make this film, we didn't expect this warm welcoming. We were just made together, just like family. So it was just still, I feel numb. <laughs> Sorry to say. And like Golden Derby, your what? Would you you just say company or what, what do you call that? Yeah, the, we're we're a company. Yeah. We predict awards, nominations. Yes. Mm. When I heard Golden Derby, I thought maybe you were racing company for the horse or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning little by little every day yeah. after the interview. <laughs> well, I want to start with your director Lee Isaac Chung. Uh, I heard he just offered you the role directly. What was it about the way he sold it to you that just made you want to do this project? Honestly, truthfully, he's not a talkative person at all. I got the script through his friend and happened to be my dear friend. And she gave me the script. Of course, it was written in English. So, of course, I had a hard time to read it out. And middle of the reading, somehow, it just touched me. So authentic to me. So I called her back. Is it based on his real life story? And she said, yes, it is. So I said, okay, I'll do it. Then I met Isaac. Well, it is such a personal story for him. Once you were on the set working with Isaac, how would you just describe his directing style? Um, you know, everybody is different. Depends on director. Isaac was very, how would I say? I asked him first. I know you have a very vivid memory of your grandmother. So should I imitate her, or should I have? A, does she have a, some special gesture or something? He said, No, 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 no. You do it yourself. You just uh, so I. I felt like he mm, has a big confidence on me. So I, okay, I'll do that. So that's why we started, and then every moment I saw him. It was the middle of chaos all the time with the child actor and me and you know all the crews in that small trailer, but he was so calm and so great. I mean, gracious. Me, I'm very temperamental. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm telling people, I am upset. <laughs> this is not you're supposed to do this to me or something like that. But he never said anything about anything. So. Actually, I respected him really. He's much younger than me. How could he be calm like that? How could he be controlled? That the child boy and the, this old lady. So that moment, I was thinking, okay, I will whatever they call, what time they call, I will just finish my mission. <laughs> <laughs> If you felt any kind of a personal connection with memories of your own relatives, your grandmother, your mother. Yes, of course, because we all have a grandmother. And to me, my gran grandmother passed away during the war time, Korean war time. So I don't have much specific memory with her, but my great grandmother was still living till when I was 10. During the filming, I would thought about her a lot. And then, oh, what what a ignorant ignorant am I saying ignorant was I and stupid and I didn't know her sacrifice and her devotion I didn't realize at the time so whole time I was thinking about her you know when you get grandmother you don't have to correct your grandson do this don't do this or something like that when you are parents you're trying to correct them and trying to make them better or something but when you get become a grandmother you can just enjoy them growing and even they make a mistake though well, it will pass like he will outgrow or something like that so i thought about her lot and the way i looking at david was maybe that's the look i saw from my grandmother 
Am I saying right? Do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, uh, you do provide so much of the comedy of the film. So when you were just reading the script, did you find her to be funny on the page or did that just kind of come naturally to you as you were performing? When I read the script, I didn't realize or, you know, acting funny or something like that. I didn't plan on. But because of the culture difference between David and Grandma, naturally, to the audience, uh, it's comedy. Like it says, uh, Charlie Cha Chaplin says so about uh, life is tragedy. When in close-up, it's comedy. When in long shots. So that's what I think audience gathered. And I'm playing comedy. And just going back to how well the film has been received, when did you first get a sense that this could be a film that would just resonate with so many people. Mm, when we went to Sundance, Isaac, Stephen, Yeri, when we had a very warm welcome from the audience, I thought, oh, this is more than enough. So, so people understand our situation and our movie. So the, I was very grateful for the audience and then even Isaac got the award. So I was so happy. I mean, I even cried for him because I, I felt like my son made something. <laughs> oh. So that was the end of my thinking about this movie. And later on, they were talking about one of my friends, the one who introduced Isaac. She kept asking me, we should have some Zoom call with somebody. So I said, what is Zoom call means? I'm very old lady. I'm not used to with all new technique or nothing. I knew at the time it's going to be big like this. I could have a translator. But we were starting between Isaac and Stephen and Yeri. We all know each other and then they know my English. So, okay, we'll do it. That's what I started and it got bigger and bigger. So I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with my English. <laughs> I love it. Um, well, I do think a lot of American audiences are really discovering you, but you do have this extensive career. I'm wondering if there's a movie or a show or a project from the past that you are proud of that you would just recommend if they want to check out more of Ye Jung Yoon. First movie, my first movie, director's name is Kim ki -young. He passed away a long time ago. Stupid me, I didn't realize he was a very genius director. <laughs> but <laughs> after 50 years uh, now, uh, I appreciate that movie. So I can recommend that my first movie, Woman of Fire. So just as we wrap up here, I have read a few interviews with you and you've mentioned the idea of taking chances, how you really like to challenge yourself in your career. Are there still challenges that you are hoping to accomplish that you might be able to do now that you've sort of become this maybe even worldwide star? No, not worldwide <laughs> star, but the reason like like interview, having an interview, if I know myself like limited English, I wouldn't, I'm not going to do that or something like that. But me, stupid me, I always, okay, I'll do it. And that's my problem. <laughs> So that's why people think I'm very brave, but it's not the braveness. I would, I'm not thinking about what's going to be happen. That's my problem. I think. You're just in the moment. You're very present. Yes. yes. Well, that's a, that's a healthy attitude, I think. It was such an honor and a pleasure talking to you, Ye Jung. Congratulations again on all the wins you've received already and whatever may come in the future. Thank you so much. <laughs>